I just bought a Blackmagic Pocket 4K. I bought it for a good price, so I needed now a storage option. Sadly, I couldn't just afford an insane speed SD card with any decent capacity or a CF Express. The other option was like a used Samsung T5 or try my luck with a Samsung T7 if it fits one of those mounting brackets too much for me. I don't want to play around with used SSDs. I was looking around for any kind of mounting system for an NVMe SSD because I have this MP510 laying around that I could reuse. It's about 500 gigabytes. Pretty good. I found the small rig SD01 with its mounting bracket, but that was too big for my gimbal. What I was able to find while looking for it is this JE Lensman. Or according to AliExpress, it is the JE RGB NVMe adapter SSD case with camera mounting screws, USB 3.1 Gen 2, 10 gigabit per second transfer camera compatible with PC cell phones. That was a mouthful. Anyway, what comes in the box is this screwdriver for it, this Type-C to Type-C cable, also a Type-C to Type-A somewhere lying around, I don't know where the fuck it is, a mounting screw if you want to mount it on top or on bottom of the camera, and of course it has this, I guess, so you hold it, I'm not really fully sure. I believe these are thermal pads, still probably not going to use them. How do you fit this thing in it? Here it comes in the box. It comes like this and you take the screwdriver that comes with it, you unscrew it. You bring in your SSD. You take the back. You try to, of course, have this here, touch with this first, so, yep, otherwise it will not close correctly. You put in the screw, take the screwdriver, and you're done. You just have to take this cable and use it. If you want to mount it on your camera, you have to do this. You have to take this mounting thing that comes with it and just screw it in. And you're done. New day, new me. I tested the whole thing. I tested the SSD. It works. It's 10 gigabit. I connected it just to make sure to a 20 gigabit connection. It worked just fine. It did not go the full 10 gigabit but i think it's also a bit of a fault on the side of both my cpu and my ssd both of them are fairly old my cpu is from 2016 and my ssd is from 2019 i believe uh, they're quite old so they might not go the full 10 gigabit is it good yes it can shoot up to the highest bit rate on the blackmagic 6k pro yeah no worries for that if you have right now the blackmagic pocket 4k and you want to buy the 6k it's completely fine you're not gonna have any issues with it it's gonna work completely fine do i recommend the thing this je ssd nvme adapter yes 100 it is so much less weight it is quite the hefty thing but it's so much less weight than the other alternatives that i just cannot recommend it enough and that nvme ssd is gonna last you so much longer than some external ssd you can take it out and put it in a pc upgrade if you want it in the future it can also work as just a simple external ssd I mean, also Samsung ones will work like that completely fine. Just this one, I don't know, it feels a little bit more free, a little bit um, better in everything. For the price, 10 out of 10, absolutely. I paid less than $20 for it, it's amazing. Uh, not sponsored, was not given for free, literally not at all i just bought it on my own also shout out to the sellers it arrived within a week shout out shout out to the shippers it's a good piece of technology if you have a camera that you should really use with an ssd so thank you for watching